morning. Mr. Pheasant. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog. Um, this is a beef and arable farm in South Yorkshire. See what I did there. Um, today it's going to be a big road trip. Going to be off in the daff, which is down there somewhere. Taking cattle, possibly picking up cattle, then possibly taking some more cattle. So, yeah, it's going to be Joe's lorry diary, I think, today. So, um, see where we get up to. It's rained again. The blossom's coming on the apple trees up. But even though I'm going out in the lorry, we've still got to get our jobs done um, prior to that. So that's what I'm doing now. Just pulling off the band on the bales so we can get back to these fairly easy. These new guys are um, hungry. They're blurting away. Yeah, so I'm on the 130. We'll get roaring round. So I've just strolled these guys up. I think we're totally empty now. Oh, someone's bipping at me. Putting more out now to these guys. Oh, happily just still laid down. Not a care in the world. What a life to be a cow, eh? Never shed about Dunny yet. We're just drawing up these outside yards. Well, inside and outside. It's a bit wet though. Again. My dad's feeding around on the TM. Finished all the strawing now. Part of the 130 there. So we've got to run these guys into the um, loading pen in a short while. Need to find my phone holder though. I think it might be in here. Because I want it for my journey so I can read my GPS and stuff. Uh, GPS, I mean like sat nav. Ah, here we are. <clears throat> Bushka, found it. This beast has just been parked up gathering dust. We could really do with getting it drilled. I mean, time is quickly running out. Um, I heard some people saying 10th of April was their cut off for cereals. Um, I think we'll go a bit further than that. And we have got maize to put in. Um, maybe we ought to have put more maize in this year. So just getting that topped up, we have blue. I'm gonna run these cattle down now and we can fill the lorry and get on our journey. So cattle are overloaded. I'm doing a John Deere Mick. I've got my flask with me. I'm prepared for the day. Right, I better get rocking and rolling and leave these guys to it. Delivery from Cramp is coming today, so whether they will get on with swapping the blades in the mixer, I'm not sure, they've got some cattle to move around, probably a bit of mucking out to do. Um, so yeah, just see what uh, see what they get up to. A bit late, maybe a bit later, although it might be too late. Anyway, whatever, we'll find out, we're on his way. What's that beast sent in front on the back of there? It's an old car, isn't it? Really old. I always think this looks nice, is that Piccolino's or something? left hand side there and then a little bit further down here I'll um, show you car garage that has some fancy cars in it probably get Google talking to us in a sec but here an old star garage full of Porsches my friends all drive Porsches they don't they don't drive Porsches to be fair um, but there is some nice ones in there so we're coming into the lovely is it village of Harewood? I think it is. Or is it a town? I guess it's a village. It's got a very nice stately home. That I've never been to, I don't even know what it looks like, but I can tell it's nice because there's a massive gigantic gatehouse. To get into there. Fuel cap open on this Skoda. Somebody's not shut it. Yeah, it's some, uh, some gate house that, innit? Even got these extra little ones at the side. Well, it's 
very, very, very wet. Bridges! I don't know where exactly we are now, but there's some very, very nice houses. Well, to be fair, all along the route that I take, there are some very, very nice houses. Like these on the left are nice, but the ones back there are like man mansions. Very nice. Anyway, we're going to get up Paul Bank in a second. Well, crawl up there. Yep, so we're just crawling up here. It'd be nice if we could just drive to the left. We're not allowed to drive in a cycle lane any of these days, so. Yeah, we're past the Subaru garage. Yeah, I want a WRX. Some nice views from down here, though. Look at that for a view. We're up high. Every time it's always been always a bit misty. Oh, we've got a cattle wagon here. Right, we're into Ilkley now and um, it's, it's nice here. I'm guessing it sprung up around the Victorian times. Every, everything looks sort of Victorian era. Um, yeah, nice little town. Oh, and we've got a, um, a big wagon. Oh, we missed the big cattle wagon that was coming the other way. So I had a phone call, but we've not missed the veggie restaurant. Yeah, no meat in there. Uh, I bet that's exciting. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's all nice little shops and um, yeah, it's nice, uh, nice little town by the looks of it. I will visit here one day, I think. Hey, there's an old DRF wagon here. Little Les. You don't see many of them about anymore, do you? Big lifestyle wagon. Well, it is proper coming down. It's not stopping this rain, is it? Not one bit. I thought we might see some tankers and tractors that were on these roads. So, always about, but it's just going to be wet for it. We're not going to see one of them. Here's one. What a nightmare, so yeah, I don't know where I'm going to stop from here, um, so much we hopefully there'll be a little um, thing inside the road or somewhere and get a bacon sarnie. Got my coffee anyway, if not, and uh, on to Thirsk now. First market, hopefully my dad's bought some, so we'll, uh, yeah, I'll go and get some picked up. These boys are... Plenty of stuff on there, isn't there? Double trouble, road train. Right, well, I could do with having a 15 minute break. So I think we'll pop down here and just have a quick look around Guy Machinery's yard. Yeah, and we'll do that, eh? So here we are on this wet, horrible day, but at least we get some machines into the video. We get to see a bit of action, don't we? Like this nice um, coon mower. Cool. What am I on about? Crone. 
We're liking mowers at the minute. Sam Ash factory the other day. Now seeing a lot in this yard. A hell of a lot. There is a load of cool mowers as well, look. That looks beefy, doesn't it, for a side mower? And then there's the smaller ones. As you get to like the uh, tiny ones at the front, don't These guys are Valtra dealers, so we've got one on the back of a Valtra there. It's quite nice how they've uh, set this all out, isn't it? It's like single rotor. You can get smaller tether, bigger tether. Like sort of done them in order, so especially with the mowers anyway at that end. Lots of stuff in here. Not this these two were connected, they're not. It looks like it from here, like it's just one long contiguous rake, like a four row to one, but no, there is a gap between them. They're Laley rakes. Okay. Definitely got a selection in the Baylor department. There's a coon one here, which I'm guessing does 90, so like is that quadrantish size? Um, and then there's some crone ones over in the background over there as well. They have got a gigantic rake. Look at that beast. Four rotor. So they they do the widest part, and then these bring it into the centre from bring that one's in and its own grass in to take a massive swath for the biggest foragers. Coon wrapper as well for square bales. I would like some of that. I don't think you can really get anything that wraps the, the full size Hestons or, or wraps them well, should we say. Unless somebody can prove me wrong. Ah, some hustler stuff there, look. Soft hands. Even sell a Joskins kit. And lots and lots and lots of trailers. I mean, look at that one. They're all stacked up. Yeah, the yard's full of trailers, so I guess there's some good deals to be had. <laughs> it looks like they buy a lot. That's a beast, isn't it? Even got their own race truck. That's pretty cool. Uh, some Valtras about. As I say, they're Valtra dealer. A nice white one in there. What's that? 214. So is that similar in light horsepower to the R215, uh, 210, something like that? I'm not sure where the boosts come in on the Valtras. Looks tidy though. And that's about it. It's a flying visit. Literally a flying visit just to get a bit of machinery in. We're going to get go to Thirst. Hopefully we'll see a little bit there. See some masses for the Massey fans. Um, but I've got some phone calls um, to make. So I need to get to Thirst before... Um, yeah, so I, can, so I can have these calls on forthcoming things for the channel. So, um, yeah, I will pop in and speak to people at guys at some point, but they're just flying visits whenever I am here at the minute. I hey, just had a nice chat with um, two people in there that were moving some mowers around, and uh, yeah, we'll have to come down one day and have a proper walk around there and, and um, a, 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 a sort of a salesman walk around, should we say telling us what all the kit is but not today we ain't got time we ain't got time we need to get on to first we're on it that's good isn't it they have like a um a drop-in field nurse drop-in clinic supporting the rural community good idea that it's been market well done but um <laughs> it would have been lovely if the CAD team was open but you know there's nobody here is there so you can't um, you can't complain about that right now i think we're in otley Think. Not really been in here before, so hopefully there's no seven and a half ton weight limits uh, on this route. I don't think there is, it looks like it's all A roads, so we should be okay. Jeez, it is wet on my way to Thirsk. It's just not stopping this rain. I have no idea how much rainfall people will have had today, but it feels like it's nearly been non stop. So here we are. We're at Thirsk. Oh, business. Somebody's fetched a Unimog. <laughs> what a weapon. Right, if I can get, oh, can't get parked next to it. 
Look at that beast. Hey, what a monster. The mass is going about. <laughs> right, cars Billington here. We'll um, hopefully we'll get a little look round there in a minute. Look at a few masses, but um, I guess we better get parked up here and see what uh, see what the job's about. The auction's still on. Look at this. So, um, my dad's still around the ring. I want to come out and see if you want to move. Been at the gravel. No, the gravel. The gravel calf. Got myself a sausage sandwich and a drink. Very reasonable. We're going to have a fish unimog. The U1600. What a beast is that? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's a dream, isn't it? Cars Billington, yep. With the masses. Oh, there's a lot of rain now. A lot of rain. I don't think we'll be using one of these <laughs> anytime soon. Maybe even, not even the slurry tanker. The conditions are wet. Well, there's lots of masses here. Someone's wanting one. A test, two, four, five. Oh. Be the dream that for Andy, wouldn't it? Little older massive. Don't know what size that is. 42.55. Then we get a bit bigger. Seven. And then another 8S at the end there. And this 8740, which is the older model, isn't it? But 400 horsepower in that beast. That'd be alright on muck spreader, wouldn't it? On my drill, my three meter combi. I think she'd handle it. Definitely. Well, you know what? It is very, very wet here. To the point where I'm gonna call this off and going back inside. It was very nice. Look at a lot of massive Ferguson's, but the rain's too much. We'll get inside. First bets, that's on Yorkshire bets, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's it. I'll leave the masses to uh, to the weather and get back inside. I think I've said that about three times now, haven't I? But I... Inside, they've got train sets for sale, all sorts of stuff. Let's do an antique thing as well. I'll pass out here. Um, we've got a few. We'll get these loaded up and get them took back to the farm. Um, I think it's probably where I'm going to end the video. So if you've liked it, remember to like button, subscribe if you're not already. Um, give us some comments to boost up the algorithm and check out the merchandise at joeseals.com. So, um, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it and uh, hope everyone's had a, a, a great day, so business. Before I forget, mixer entrance today is Sue Daly, happy birthday to you, um, yeah, thanks for donating to Yorkshire Ambulance. Anybody else wants to get their name in the video, then there's a link in the description below. Business. Cheers guys, see you later, bye.